Welcome to another Pike and Shot battle in this match against Velez at the Jacobite Scots against his Spanish. Uh, this should be interesting. We get two units of cavalry. Lovely. And two units of Pike and Shot and detached musketeers. And otherwise, it's Scots Highlanders. Impact foot, 66% musket swordsmen. Um, hmm, is there a good way to do this? Maybe I should just ditch the cavalry and go all in on the Highlanders. Is that stupid? Probably, but I don't really like having 30 points left over. Uh, I think I can do without the detached musketeers then. Alright, very easy. Okay, deployment. Should be a simple enough affair. Um, let's get our cavalry back so we can think about where we want to put them. Islanders in the rough and forest. Absolutely, yes. Okay, the problem is going to be this open ground here. Need some pike and shot and our pitifully small complement of cavalry. Very good. And reinforcements. Some impact foot hiding behind the horse. That'll do. All right, let's see his force comp and deployment. Good cavalry country. Did it bring a lot? Oh yeah, although they're gonna have to thread a narrow path. I'm more worried about his right wing than his left wing. Two batteries here, but I should be able to protect my horse from them at least. Right then, let's start stretching our line. It's a good thing these warriors can move so rapidly through marsh and rough. Goal being to close this off to a cavalry advance, and then maybe we can wrap around by pushing from patch to patch of rush, rough ground. Uh, next up, cover the cavalry, so now they can't get shot at. And that's still a lot of cavalry. Do I want to bother seizing this hill? No, I'd rather he funnel past the forest where I have cover. And we'll start hiding units a little bit. Not that he doesn't know that we're here. Another unit over. And that's probably a good enough weight to put onto that right wing. Next turn. Let's see what there is to see. Cavalry. Might be able to make it to this heap of rough. Okay, in the meantime, Let's stretch out our cavalry to force his cavalry to respond. And do I want to occupy this hill? Well, if I do, I'll be exposed to a cavalry charge, so probably not. 
Velez is curious about how I'm going to make this army list work. Um, me too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I think the thing is that the Highlanders are very squishy, but they are at least effective against infantry, and they're fairly affordable, and so they're numerous. Um, but yes, all the horse is going to cause me some trouble. Four, and then they could turn and zone of control lock us, so we will move here instead. Okay. Fire. And Musketeers might flank me there, but then I could charge, so I think we're good. And here we can. Block the charge. Okay. Horse, horse, veteran horse, unarmored horse. Not the best. And we'll need to keep our pike and shot here to protect against the horse again. Okay. I mean, what I might need to do is just, uh, Except that we're going to have some unfavorable engagements. But that as long as the whole army doesn't cave, we're good. This unit I'll have turn back towards this combat. This unit can help shoot the horse as they advance. Then we sit. Next turn we will charge with our cavalry and... See if he advances into musket shot. Next turn. Okay, so he's waiting for me to advance, which is probably a good idea. I'll have to consider that, but first, let's send our greetings. Trap this cavalry on the terrain. Hmm. I suspect that those musketeers are there, unfortunately. We can zone in the cavalry, though. Oh, they're not. Oops. Um, hmm, that's awkward. Maybe you could zone in the cavalry. We should be out of the line of fire as well. Uh, well, let's not waste any time. <laughs> You gotta love it. Okay, so yeah, bayonet, when steady, cancels out swordsmen, but when disordered, including just moderately disordered by moving through the woods, uh, it unlocks our swordsman POA. So we can put some pressure on and see if we get a reaction. He's gonna have to get a reaction out of me here, unfortunately. I don't know that I can prevent myself from being charged. Yeah, I don't think it's possible, so we're just going to have to take some heat. That's okay. Well, let's get in before more bad things happen here. This unarmored horse against horse impact is fine. Melee is bad. We'll just lose it eventually, but, you know, it happens. Then let's turn to try to lock in the cavalry if they try to do any shenanigans. Okay, then what? 
we can move so that next turn we can move into this rough ground for cover. Same thing there. Now we'll see if we get any sort of movement and reaction there. These three can sit for the moment. And yeah, we can hold back a little bit here behind our pike and shot and see if we can get him to move forward in a way that we can disrupt him with fire before contact. I'm kind of fine delaying a little bit while we clean this up so that we can throw more men into that open flank. But I might have sealed my fate by moving forward as much as I did. Maybe I should have held back here while this happened, but it's too late for that. Next turn. Balance that, good. And they break. It's not actually the best. Hmm, too bad they didn't disrupt there. Good. Lock in the horse with our pike and shot unit. Then let's get ready to advance. Let's charge here, because we'll have swordsmen. Then, a bit dangerous, push into the open. We need to turn rapidly to try to cover our flank from that horse unit. Lock them in, move along. Let's see, keep pushing them off to the side and move along. Then what? Not a great way to get involved here. Too much cavalry running around. Just have to start trying to wear down this veteran unit. Okay, then what? Do we dare? We move into charge range now. He can just bring his horse out, but we might need to just be okay with losing a unit or two at this point. Yep, we're doing it. Probably disrupt, but don't it'll be good and if we do at least we're isolated from the rest of our own army. That enables us to get this unit to the rough. We'll shift this unit to take cover in rough ground as well. So that is our overall situation. Next turn there's a flanking force.
Good. <clears throat> Bounce that. Good. They all pass their cohesion checks. Ah, so do we. Okay. Do I follow? Probably not, honestly. Just turn around. Hmm. Into the rough. Take a risk. There we go. Lock in this cavalry. Looks like we're going to have to lose one unit. Well, that's okay. We tried. More impact charging. No disruption. We'll lose one unit here. I kind of want to push up, but I should wait until their buddies arrive. Next turn! Good. Although, it's going to get us flanked, I think. That's okay. If his cavalry is killing my cavalry and not my infantry, that means I'm doing something right. Okay, so we're going to lose this unit, but it means his veteran horse is just going to be charging off into the sunset and hopefully won't be back anytime soon to plague us. Yep, as predicted. Good. And this will be similarly awful. Now with this unit coming up behind us, we've got a time limit on getting things done.
interesting. Well, it's going to go for the catch there. I could try to block it, but I don't think I can, so probably just have to write this unit off too. I'm just going to say that I'm okay with that. Keep pressure on this unit of horse and try to frag them. Good. That's worth it. Yep. Is it worth popping out here yet? I think. No. Lock in this cavalry. Good. Hmm. Into charge range. That's everyone. All right. Next turn. We're going to get flanked here, unfortunately. Oh, well, a little bit of chaos isn't entirely a bad thing. Oh, well, that's entirely a bad thing, though. Hmm. Okay. Should bounce that when the row. Wow. That was pretty bad, even in the rough ground. Okay, now we are drastically losing all of a sudden. Break. Ouch. Ooh, did we get rolled? Not quite. Okay, that was not pretty. Ugh. Ah, oh, this damn cavalry is in the way. Oh, and they're about to show up again. It's very awkward. Um, I was hoping we had have a little bit more time, I think. Ugh. Run into the forest? That's kind of useless. Well, let's shoot these guys up a bit. Press on. Okay. 
easy decision here. And here, well, I suppose we have to just hope that we rally in the melee. Damn. Let's, ah, uh, fine, stand our ground. Very messy. Next turn, can we recover? Ah, so we need to run a little bit further. Ouch. You frag? Oh yeah, and break. Still 10% behind. Okay, there's so much cavalry running around, it's really constraining my ability to do anything. Go for these guns anyway. Push them along. We're gonna get rolled here, actually. So unfortunately I need to fire and then try to cover and find a way to push our infantry forward somewhere to engage his remaining infantry because we can't take on the cavalry. Get that done. That's everyone. Next turn. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get ground down and blue sisters just because I don't have any answer to the cavalry in the open. Although that's nice. Didn't frag, but it's still nice. Oof.
Yeah, we need rallies, but it's not happening. I wouldn't want to come back either. So even though they're disrupted and we're steady, uh, between quality and armor, they're up 100 POA. So they'll probably just rally up soon. In the meantime, we can at least charge and break one more unit if I can shot. One, two, three, four, so we can move here at least. And I guess we can make our stand on this ridge line. This unit needs to rally up, but a couple more units can be sent over to fight the infantry as well as they can. Move that way. Huh. There's a small chance that maybe if I do this, that during the pursuit phase I'll be able to charge into this veteran unit. Next turn. Do it. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't it's gonna work out forever. Oof. Veterans, that's good. Uh-oh. There goes another one of our units. Right. Well, let's not get in cohesion check range. There, we can flank or frontally charge. Huh. Not much I can do to impede that unit's mobility. Good. Disruption. We can hide in the forest, and once they break this unit and pursue, we can push out, ignore the cavalry, and try to hit the infantry. It's not much of a plan, but it's pretty much all I've got. The West says, no matter what the end result will be, I think we should count this as a Scottish victory. Uh, <laughs> not if I lose. <laughs> oh, here we go. 
lose this unit too. Do we frag? Oh, surprising. Ugh. Hold firm, hold firm, hold firm. Good. Ooh, yeah, that was not surprising. Fifty-six to fifty-three. Don't think we're gonna make it. Made it close though. Good, so we don't have to waste time charging them. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, first we go for the impact charge. Good. Then we push. And, oh, point blank fire could hurt, but I think we gotta just take it. Okay, then what? Get away from cohesion check range? Is that out of charge range? I'm not sure. So instead, I will shuffle away in this direction. Let's go for the frag here. Damn. Uh, try shooting at a half arc. Nope. You're doomed. There's really nothing we can do. Uh, run away to at least try to waste some time. Onward. Next turn. We are going to need some rallies to save us. question is, does that put us over 60? Oh, 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 that might put us over 60 when they pursue into us. Let's see. Oh, yeah. We lose 60 to 58. If this unit had double dropped, it would have been a draw, but it's a bit too much to ask for. Oh, nice. Okay, so <laughs> I uh, generally try not to do this, but I'm going to say I don't think I did anything substantially wrong here. And had the dice gone the other way in a few matchups, we'd be looking at maybe a draw. If we're very lucky, a win. Uh... The Scottish foot just can't operate in the open against cavalry. They just can't. And the Scottish army doesn't get enough other units to entirely avoid that matchup. So I had a couple pike and shot units and a couple cavalry units, and I did what I could to have them engage as cavalry, but it wasn't quite enough. Maybe I should have been more aggressive, just accepted more bad matchups here and there in order to get more charges in against his infantry. I'm not sure. Uh, it's possible I was too passive against his uh, musketeers up on the hill uh, down above the forest. I feared charging, losing impact, or drawing impact, and then being downhill. Uh, but maybe I should have pushed out anyway to make more progress there. But in general, I'm fairly satisfied that I did what I could here. 
So, well done to Velez. Good use of his cavalry. And, till next time.